Assalamu alaikum. So, in this video, we are going to learn how to connect Java program with a remote server or remote database. Then the question came what is remote server or remote database and what is localhost server or database? The main difference between the localhost server and a remote server or remote database is that the localhost server and database can be accessed only from the PC or only from that PC and the remote server or remote database can be accessed from anywhere in the world so if you have a just internet connection you can access the server so wow what is I think you understand why we need to connect a program in the remote server because we want a server to be accessible through the world like Facebook Facebook server is a, uh, as a remote server because we can use it you know, from Bangladesh, India, Myanmar or USA, Canada or even England so we uh, if, if we have to uh, use a program if, uh, if you have to use a program throughout the world it, ha it must have to connect it in our server in our remote server so uh, remote server is a server which is, which can which is accessible throughout the world and throughout the world pc and everybody can access it if if he has the access authentication so now the question came how can we connect a java program with a remote server to answer that question we have to have few things first thing we need a java program because without a java program we cannot connect the program with our database or server then in the java program we ha the java program must have to have the accessibility to connect a remote server or remote database it's like jdbc i have made uh, a tutorial on how to connect a java program uh, with jdbc into a uh, mysql database and after that we need a remote server a remote server i will show you i have a remote server which is paid and here is a disclaimation because uh, you can find you will you will be able to find uh, lots of uh, a lot of free remote server in here uh, that all of it will be able to run your java program i never tested my software with in uh, a free remote server i always tested it you know or i run my few of my java program in a paid remote server so let's get started so this is my last javafx uh, tutorial program where we uh, connected these in our uh, into our localhost so for here i have done this i have a java program i have jdbc so i need a remote server uh, so that I can connect it. So here in remote server uh, we need few information like here we need the server name, database name, username, password. Let's go into the remote server. So this is my paid remote server. Here you can see a lot of things and um, first what we need to do is that we need to open a remote mysql in this database uh, this is a cpanel so if you don't have a cpanel uh, my this tutorial will not be able this tutorial will not work so you must have a must have a cpanel on your server so just uh, first find out this database and if you find out this database section uh, just click it on remote server mysql and it will open then in google just write show here you can see show my ip just click it so here you can see this is your ip just copy it and um, add this in here, here and just add click add host i have already added this ip in our in my access host here you can see this so i don't need i am not going to add this multiple time so just add this after adding this 
let's go to back let's go back to this database after that in database section we have to create a database and uh, we have to create a user for the database access so you can do this by do that by this uh, mysql database uh, option but i'm not going to go there i am going to create the database and uh, user by this mysql database user let's go and here you have to give the name of the database let's give it tutorials let's give it tutorial the next then we have to create a I have all already created a, 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 a database tutorial that's why it pop up that uh, the database uh, uh, tutorials are all exist but we, uh, I'm guessing you, you won't have that so that's not a big problem or you can create another database name by here let's create a username user like t and generate password copy this password and paste it here paste it here user, in username sorry in password and create user and give the all privilege to this uh, user copy this paste here in username copy the database name and paste it here and here you can see I have write uh, iamthorup.com uh, then I have write port uh, this is the server name uh, instead of localhost you have to write your own server name and oh, uh, this is a uh, default mysql port or uh, database port 3306 and uh, i think everything is ready just finish this next step so user uh, hkthorapt was added in database tutorials please back and to open php my admin open your local host from tutorial export it yes export this is from your local host I am exporting the information of this tutorial database uh, database uh, because I want to input it in our main remote server so this is my this is my PC my this PC my admin is my remote server PC my admin just go here hkthorup tutorials uh, click import choose file and here yeah, tutorial.sql so just click go now we can see that in HKTOR of tutorials we have a table name user so and it has all the value we have inputted in the previous video so I'm ready and if I uh, run this go to the main class and run this run main if I run this so this is my app I have created let's give a value here Okay, okay. so you see this is working so this is how you can connect your java program with uh, remote database uh, thanks for watching if you find this video helpful please subscribe to my channel and please share and like this video